So if I click on this button, then you can see the background color of the box is changing to random colors. So we are going to create this beginner level functionality today. Welcome to the ninth video of real world JavaScript series. So first we will add here one event listener that is going to be DOM content loaded and it will trigger one function. And then we are going to grab here our elements from HTML. The first element is color button and the second one is this color box. If I go into my HTML file, then you can see here this button has ID as color button. And then here we have this box which have the ID as color box. And also I'm applying some styling over here for the border. Now here I will add another event listener which will be triggered when we click this color button and here's the main logic behind the color changing. So here I will create one variable that is random color and here we are going to generate the color code and it always starts with this hash. So we are adding here hash and then we will write this math.floor which will round our result to the nearest whole number and then we will use here this math.random which will generate one random floating point number and then we are multiplying that random number via this digit and this number is the decimal equivalent of the highest possible value for a 24 bit color and then we will add here this two string and we will pass here 16 which will convert our number to a hexadecimal string and this is how we are generating our color code now in the last step we will apply that color to the background color and that's the logic the github repository link is present inside the description of this video now before taking a look on the ui there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like and here is our ui